Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. If you need to transfer everything from your old device to your new iPhone, iCloud Backup makes it easy. But if for some reason you can't use iCloud, there are actually other alternative methods you can use. In this video, I recommend three different ways to move your data from one iPhone to another without using iCloud. Let's go! When transferring data from one iPhone to another, your first option is to use Apple's Quick Start feature, which allows direct communication between devices. Before you begin, there are a few important reminders that you should be aware of. First, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections are required on both devices. Also, keep in mind that you won't be able to use your devices for several minutes while the transfer is in progress. Second, your device target must not be set up yet. Otherwise, you will need to reset it. To reset your device, open Settings and go to General. Browse to the Transfer or Reset iPhone menu. Select Erase All Content and Settings and follow the on-screen instructions until your device is completely wiped. Finally, you can charge both devices during the transfer. This will prevent the battery from draining before the transfer is complete. Once your new iPhone is in the initial setup or hello screen, follow the prompts in each window until you reach the quick start menu. To get started, place your new device next to your old iPhone and click continue when the setup new iPhone prompt appears on the screen. Scan the image displayed on the new device and click set up for me so you can use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. Continue the process on your new iPhone by providing the passcode from your old device. Note that this will also be the passcode for your new iPhone, but you can always change it later in settings. Since the transfer requires the internet, tap other options. Select use Wi-Fi and connect your phone to an available Wi-Fi network. When the screen is in the Transfer Your Data menu, choose the Transfer From iPhone option to enable the direct transfer. For configurations like your Face ID, Apple Pay, and other settings, you can always set them up later to speed up the process. Once you get past the initial setup screen, your data should begin transferring to your new iPhone. During this process, make sure that both devices remain within range of each other to avoid any interruptions. As soon as the transfer is complete, your new iPhone will reboot automatically and you should see a similar layout and have the same data as your old device. An alternative way to transfer data from one iOS mobile to another is to back up your old device and then use it to restore your new iPhone. If you're on Windows, you can use iTunes or the Finder app if you're on Mac. After launching either app on your computer, connect your old iPhone with an original or MFI certified cable to ensure successful data transfer. When prompted, click the trust button on your iPhone and enter the device passcode to confirm the connection. Once connected, click the iPhone icon in the iTunes top toolbar and go to the backup section. If you're using a Mac, you can find your iPhone in the Finder app under the Locations menu. To create a backup and store it locally on your computer, select This Computer and click the Backup Now button. Re-enter your iPhone's device passcode to confirm the backup process. When the backup is finished, disconnect your old device and keep iTunes or the Finder open. This time, connect your new iPhone to your computer. In your iTunes or Finder window, click Restore from this backup. Select the specific copy you created earlier and press Continue to begin restoring your data to your new device. Leave your iPhone connected to your computer during the restore process. Once complete, your device will restart automatically. Upon reboot, unlock your device and enter the passcode of your old iPhone to continue. Please note that all your apps and data will be downloaded in the background. 
You can configure your Face ID now or set it up later in your settings. Next, provide your Apple ID password and the verification code sent to your old device or registered phone number to update your iCloud settings. Once updated, follow each prompt until you reach your iPhone home screen and see the same layout and data as your old device. Alternatively, you can use a third-party tool to transfer your data. Personally, I recommend iMyPhone iTransfer, a software that can transfer your data between devices regardless of whether you have iCloud or iTunes backup. With this tool, it's possible to backup and restore all or part of the data on your iPhone. To download it, click on the tag in the upper right corner. I will also provide a link in the description below. Please note that iTransor is actually a paid software, but it also has a trial version that allows you to back up and preview your data for free. iTransor is available for both Windows and Mac. After downloading, run the executable file and simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation on your computer. The first thing you need to do is back up your old device. If you already have a backup of your device on your computer using iTunes or the Finder, you can skip this step and go to the next one. On the dashboard, open the Acquire Backup from Device and iCloud panel and go to Backup Device. Then connect your iPhone to your computer and see to it that you're using an original or MFI certified cable to ensure that data can be successfully transferred between the two devices. When prompted, Click the Trust button and enter your iPhone's device passcode to confirm the connection. Once your iPhone is connected, choose whether to back up your entire device or just a portion of your data by specific categories like contacts, messages, and more. Start the backup process by clicking on the Backup button. Note that depending on the amount of data being processed, the backup may take some time. When the backup of your old device is ready, proceed to the Restore Backup to Device in the sidebar panel. Select the backup copy you want from the list and click Next to continue. This time, use your cable again to connect your new iPhone to your computer. Complete the trust process on your device to complete the connection. Choose Restore Full Backup to transfer everything from your old device, including its data and settings, to your new iPhone. Then click Directly Restore to start the transfer. If your iPhone is already set up and you only need selected data from your old device's backup file, click Restore Partial Backup. Select any type of data you need, such as contacts, messages, and more. With Preview and Restore, you can view the data contained in your selected category before you restore from it. Or you can click Directly Restore to start the transfer immediately. Before the transfer begins, iTransor may ask you to turn off certain configurations on your iPhone, usually depending on the type of data you have selected. In my case, Find My and iCloud Contacts have to be disabled. To turn off Find My, Open Settings and tap your name above. Go to Find My iPhone Configuration page and toggle it off. Enter your Apple ID password to successfully turn off the feature. Next, go to iCloud Settings. Tap Show All and turn off Contacts. After following the on-screen instructions, iTransor will begin restoring your iPhone with the backup data you set. Your device should automatically restart when the transfer is complete. Upon reboot, unlock your device and enter the passcode of your old iPhone to continue. Please note that all your apps and data will be downloaded in the background. You can configure your Face ID now or set it up later in your settings. Next, provide your Apple ID password and the verification code sent to your old device or registered phone number to update your iCloud settings. Once updated, follow each prompt until you reach your iPhone home screen and see the same layout and data as your old device. That's it!
If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.